Hey, this is Jugne. Um, I'm just going to show you a demo of the program I was talking about on email called Task. Uh, I was going to show some pictures, but I figured actually it would be easier to just uh, record a video so you can see what it actually is like uh, in action. So I've got it up here. Um, I'm not on Windows, but if you were on Windows, it would be the same. You'd have this little icon down in your lower right, uh, which is really nice because if I'm doing other stuff, um, I can always just click that icon to bring up the list to check it or add things. Um, you can see here I've got my tasks. Uh, they're all in the future. It says that because there's no date. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. It's got checkboxes here. If I check that, it says it's completed. It gives me five seconds to change my mind, but otherwise it would disappear. I can set the priority of the task. So if I set this to a one, now it shows up towards the top. Um, I can edit the description just by clicking on it and typing. And then I can change the due date over here. It shows all the dates through the next week. I can say no date, or I can choose the date to bring up a little calendar there. Um, now there's not a lot of tasks on this list. Um, this is just one list, and this is where I would change lists up here. Personal. Um, the one I have most on is my work list. This is alignment yoga. So you can see this is how I would access all my different lists. And these are actually created on the website, remember the milk. Um, and this program just uh, reads all that right off the website. Um, and here we go. This is kind of more standard list here that you would see that come with tasks. These are overdue. They show up first. You know, I, I said I wanted to have them done by yesterday. Uh, and then if I scroll down, you know, it's just chronological today, tomorrow, things more in the future. Um, and this one has a little notepad icon. That's because it has a note attached to it. So if I double click, um, I can see the little note that I wrote. And I can add more, I can change it. So that's really handy. Obviously, you can include more information in your task. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's uh, anything else. Oh, to add a task, just go up here, new sample task, just type it in, um, and you can enter the due date at the same time, which is really nice. So, um, actually let me make it a date that'll be more obvious. Hit enter, and it adds it to the list that I'm currently in. Oops, looks like it's not showing up yet. Oh. Okay, so if I do a date previous today, it figures out that it belongs to next year. So anyway, you can see it showed up right there. Um, if I wanted to add it to a different list than what I'm in, I just uh, choose the list down there and adds it to that personal. So that's just a quick overview of the program itself. Um, I'm accessing my tasks from another computer where that's not installed. Uh, I just use their website. This is their website, remember the milk. I've got my different task lists up here. Go to triple task. You can see, um, you know, I think these are overdue. Oh wait, no, these have no due date, but they're by priority. So anyway, I don't use a website as much because they're for the software, but, you know, it's got this, and these are all the different options that you can set up. You, know, you can set, you can organize your tasks by location. You see all the tasks to do next time you go to Madison. Um, you can tag them, you can set up repeats, all different kind of stuff. So, um, and this is also the way that we would share tasks. If you wanted to set up sharing of a task, you would go through the website to do that. Uh, okay, I've got one selected there, and I just go, um, where is it, share with. And then of course I can do all these other actions on it. I can move it to a different list and, you know, all the stuff that their website lets you do. So it's pretty, um, pretty full feature. It's really handy, and I think uh, with the shared list on this program, uh, it would be much easier for us on Joyful App. Uh, it's much more full, and uh, I just think it would make it uh, easier than the current Google Doc. Uh, Alright, that is that.